Beautiful. You know, if I had any talent as an artist, I would go and get a canvas and some oil paints and maybe even watercolor and reproduce that. Innsbruck Resort, Renewal by Anderson, I'd write that in the corner and make them happy. It'd be beautiful. And then, then I might take it and sell it somewhere, Randy. you have any ideas? I think I do, John. Ooh. How about the St. Louis Art Fair? It is a tradition like no other when artists from all over the country and the world display their creations for thousands of art enthusiasts. The St. Louis Art Fair is back the weekend of September 9th through the 11th. This event has always shown that no matter what your artistic tastes or even your budget, there is something for everyone. Joining us this morning to talk about it and preview the event is the executive director, Sarah Umlauf. Good morning to you. Good morning, Randy. Thank you for having me. How many years has the St. Louis Art Fair been going on in Clayton now? This will be the 29th year for the festival. I love it. And I know people love to collect the themed posters. Every year yes. there's a theme. What is the theme yes. this year? So our theme for the event is love is in the art because like we that. truly feel the love from the community when we came back in 2021 on the streets of downtown Clayton. Right. So you had to kind of forego it during the pandemic, came back in, during 2021, a record year last year. It was. Artists had record sales in 2021, which was amazing. And so we're expecting the community to turn out this year as they always have done. We got we got dial up some good weather for everybody. Yes. So how many artists are expected to attend this? We're going to have over 180 artists exhibiting at the show, which is more than we had last year. Uh -huh. So you're going to see an upturn in those displays and those exhibits on the streets of downtown Clayton. It's going to be beautiful. And it's so well done, really a great event. Now this, isn't, this isn't just a sign up and turn up event. This is what is called a juried art fair. Yes. For those who may not know, what does that mean? So the jury process actually began earlier this year where we have five distinguished jurors who select from close to 1,200 applicants um, those artists who are going to be exhibiting at the St. Mm -hmm. Louis Art Fair. So it's very competitive. That's fantastic. And, you know, you might be saying, you know, I'm not going to go there. I can't afford anything. Well, everybody has different tastes and, of yes. course, different budgets. Price ranges from what to what can we find? There is something for everyone. You can find something small for $20, $50, mm -hmm. or you can find something large, uh, <laughs> upwards of $10,000 right. or more. It runs the gamut. It Jewelry. Does. I remember I bought some ceramic uh, coasters for yes. my downstairs area. You know, you don't have to spend a ton of money. And I know a lot of people who get a lot of gifts there for the upcoming holidays. Finally, if you're a browser, maybe you don't want to get any art the family can have a great oh time gosh, yes. without buying a thing. Oh yes, we have the Creative Castle coming back where you can actively craft with your family and create works of art that you can take home. We have 14 restaurants on our Pleasures of the Palette. That's what I like. Yes, and there will be lots of features there. And then, of course, we'll have some great drinks for everyone to stop and grab at our beverage booths. And the music and the entertainment is outstanding. I see people stopping in their tracks to dance in the streets of yes. Clayton, which is so fun. Yes. It is a great event, and it's back. The weekend is September 9th through 11th. Thank you so much for joining Thank us. You. I'm sure we'll be previewing it more for you. And if you want to learn more about it and some of the artists who may be coming, we'll link you to their website on our website as well as our Fox 2 mobile app. That'll do it from the lobby.